Hello everyone, I'm DW and welcome back to Works Must Die. Today we are taking on the third level of the Lost Adventures DLC, The Pit. This level is largely forgettable. It's not a terrible level, but it can be made really easy if you do one thing that we will be doing. Uh, I think a lot of people maybe have struggled struggle with this level a little bit, um, but really it's probably the... It, no, it absolutely is the easiest level in the DLC hands down um yeah and we'll see this level kind of has a lot of problems first it's called the pit and there's no real pit you're not going to be flinging guys into some sort of lava or endless void or anything like that you just have a big area here's the pit not much of a pit anyway we have three doors um through that center door will be mostly just uh runners and sappers some gnolls and ogres we have this completely useless uh, gate that will take us into the rift room. We have these identical hallways on either side. Um, yeah, our main kill box is going to be down one of those hallways. We are going to be blocking off one hey, of these others. Of Embrace course, we're going to go with the steel weaver, but we don't really need it on this way, on this level at all. You can see here we have no DLC enemies whatsoever. No Cyclops mages or uh, frost bats, and that's really unfortunate because this level would be so much more interesting if it had cyclops mages. So our loadout is going to be fairly standard. Uh, we are not. We are going to bring our walls, but we're not going. But we want the grinders there first. Have to have everything in perfect order. So yeah. First off, we don't have that much money, so we are going to be blocking off uh, this one area with only two. But we're actually going to sell one of those because uh, this first wave we want all of our money to spend on brimstone. We're going to lay brimstone out in front of the center door because like I said earlier mostly runners come from that and it's ma it's really a lot easier to deal with the runners with just placing by placing the brimstone right there. So we're going to press G. This first wave can be deceptive because first off we just have a couple of runners coming through no problem right and some sappers but we can deal with sappers but then there's this sort of like little break and you think like oh the wave's over but no the wave's not over now we have to deal with a knoll but we know how to deal with knolls especially when there are sappers around we'll freeze them wait for a sapper to come by and blow them up and accidentally take the hit there so now that the first wave is done, we are going to run back over here to place our final barricade. And now we only have 300 uh, coins, so we can't really do much in the way of setting up um, our actual kill box. So we're just going to have to fight these guys with our trusty lightning Good ring. Times. Good times. Now the pathing on this level is really bizarre when you do it this way. So... We'll see that later, but if you watch the minimap, you'll see guys sort of, um, like, run back and forth. Which is really annoying. Uh, it gets really bad at, at, on the final level, but we still make the part time, and that's what's important. Now, I could have brought the, the mono wall with me, but the reason why I like to bring the arrow walls, which are not super integral to the to, like, the solution, um, it's because they help soften you guys up on that other end. So now we are actually going to start getting our kill box set up. We're going to get uh, some shock sappers there and then two archers down. That's all the money. That's all that we have money for right now. Eventually, we will get uh, a couple of arrow walls set up by those other barricades, and they will help to kill and weaken any guys who go up there. Now this kill box is pretty um, it's pretty barren at the moment. Uh, eventually we'll get tar, uh, one grinder, because we don't really need that many grinders. But, yeah. Here you'll start to see the weird pathing, like see these archers shoot and then they run back. I don't know what's up with that, but it, it can be very frustrating. And that's why like, it, it, it's almost tempting to build like two kill boxes, but you don't get the resources to do that. So now we are going to place our arrow, our arrow walls. 
If I can ever find them. There we go. This will be good. Sometimes pressing buttons is hard. And we're going to get uh, an uh, another shock zapper and another archer. Don't like where I placed that one archer, so make it a little bit more even. Eventually, we will get more brimstone down, especially between the other second or that other set of stairs. Um, that'll help us deal with these these runners. But shock sappers work pretty good against sappers as well. See here, you can see how those arrow walls really help to uh, weaken those guys. Oh, and that was a great ring of lightning shot there. This is the closest those guys ever get. So now we're going to start laying down our tar. We don't quite have enough for all six, but we can get five, and that's good enough. Probably should have got another shock zapper down, but oh well. down the lightning cloud there, but do not quite have the mana for it. Again, don't quite have the mana, so why don't we seek out this kill box again. Of course, shield guys always take two hits. That archer is shooting me in the back. So now we're going to get the one grinder down that I place. Sometimes I almost I, feel bad for the generally, you know, you want to set four down there, and that'll pretty much ensure that nothing's going to get through. But I don't don't really get the money. Like this, this is a fairly low uh, coin map, which in theory would make it a really difficult map. But since you can just kind of defend these staircases really easily. Um, I, you don't really need to do it. Now this runner, I thought my archers would take care of him, but whoops, he almost gets through. Because that's what runners do. At least that one gets sucked into the grinder. So those shock sappers will make quick work of any ogres, especially if they're frozen. Again, this is me with my terrible mana management. Here I'm thinking like, oh yeah, I should have bought something. I, I thought I had bought the um, Death Augmentator, but apparently not, so yeah. Go then. See if I can. That would have helped us a little bit on our um this will be good. You know, our economy, but that's eh, fine. This level, like I said, is not difficult at all, especially with this with this kill box. And this is a very bare kill box. Like you don't even need that grinder there. You could do this kill box entirely with just archers, tar, and zappers, and it would be you. It would be the exact same thing. You can also, you know, use the alchemist satchel instead of the ring of lightning. But I know how much the thread hates the alchemist satchel. It's an interesting little chain there. I don't know how that missed. Yes. Is that all? A little 
present for you. We are on wave eight of nine, so yeah, this this level is almost over. Honestly, this level should have had uh, Cyclops mages and be twelve waves long. I, that would have made this level so much more interesting. And if there was just more going on in that big empty area, like if that had, like, because in theory you could funnel all, every guy down into that center area, but there's no reason to, because then all you could use is floor traps and I guess ballista. But then with the sappers, that would make it very difficult to defend all your barricades, and I don't know. And also be really expensive. We have armored ogres, but they don't cause much of a problem. I think that's I think we only have one armored ogre to deal with in this entire level. And it's on this wave, like the next wave doesn't I don't I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any armored ogres. Here he comes. Just freeze him. Boom. Gone. We got times five on him too. Might as well get some more brimstone down here. Trying to just keep an eye on who's coming from what gate. In your face. Looks like we have a couple of um, fire ogres. You can see their pathing is a little weird how they sort of dip down on the stairs there. the other fire ogre we want to kill all the crossbow men around him so that we can we can more easily deal with him oh we have another one they can kind of sneak up on you if you you know you can't really see around that corner look at these guys run all the way back and we have the other one that almost gets me. And then he runs back and Yeah. I probably should have frozen there and just headshotted him. I don't know why I didn't. I guess I figured I had to deal with this guy, but there was only the one archer. Again here I could have frozen him and like maybe placed down a couple of archers or a shock zapper or something to help deal with him, but for whatever reason, I decide to let him path all the way back to the kill box to kill him. It's kind of silly. But there we have it. I could have made this level a lot shorter if I killed him sooner, but... Yeah, whatever, we still got five skulls, we still made it under the par time, and that's what matters. I don't think this is the best score I've ever gotten, but yeah, I've been DW, thank you for watching.